This is Eric from Pack Hacker, and today we're talking about the Tortuga Travel Sling, which I've been testing for the past two weeks. If you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe so we can continue making content like this to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. So the primary pack material that we're working with is Shell 200. So we've seen this in other Tortuga bags and also other some of their other new releases as well. It is 200D recycled polyester and it's very lightweight, but it also boasts pretty good water resistance. So in walking with this thing in the rain, no issues with water getting inside or permeating this fabric. Um, maybe if you're out there and extended, you know, a downpour or something like that, some water might sneak in, but overall very happy with how this has performed so far in inclement weather. We've also got a YKK zipper here, two of them actually, two tracks, and they both have an AquaGuard finish, which helps with that extra water resistance. If you don't have those AquaGuard finish um, on those zippers, you might have water sneak in through the small holes that are on the track there. So a nice inclusion, and it doesn't really slow you down that much either. The pulls, I will say, when they get wet are a bit slippery. They do have some texture there, so you can kind of grab it with your nail but overall very minimalistic and they, they're a little bit jangly, but no more jangly than other ones we've tested in the past. Just like sometimes it's fun to uh, get some fun audio on these videos, but this thing is very minimalistic as you can see. The logo is, you know, you can see it right now, but from afar, you're not gonna see it, but we're kind of used to this from um, Tartuga at this point. It's just, they look very nice, very sleek, and they're not really shouting at you at all. I should mention that we do have a Wujin magnetic buckle here. We'll talk about the strap in a little bit, but this is easy, snappy. It's right next to the sling itself, the body of the sling. So if you're wearing it on your front and you have a backpack on your back, this is not on your back and causing you some discomfort, like where it's just strap on your back. So it's not really going to hurt you. And if you're wearing it on your back, it's right here. So you can easily um, access it. Um, so overall, very happy with this. I know these can, you know, some people don't like these, but they're pretty easy to get used to. And this one, I haven't had any issues with it popping off when I didn't want to. Just overall, very easy to use and just snappy. I don't know what else to say about it other than that. But that's enough about the exterior. Let's talk about wearing this thing. As you can see, the back panel here is very substantial. It's very well padded. We've got this little diamond. I guess it's just a square on its side. Um, shape there. I'm not really sure what the point of that is, if it's maybe to promote airflow or something like that. Um, we were trying to figure out what exactly it was for. It looks kind of neat. I thought maybe it would be like the Tortuga logo or something, but it looks kind of fun. Maybe it promotes airflow. I'm not really sure. Overall, it breathes pretty well, but this thing is solid black, so it's going to accept heat and get pretty warm. I did notice some sweat spots from when I was wearing it, but it's been very hot here lately. I think it's going to be like 95 or something today, so I think any sling is really going to do that. But in general conditions, I think this thing performs pretty well and it's comfortable. I should note that because this has so much rigidity to it, depending where you're wearing it on your body, like if you kind of have it on your side or something, it can kind of protrude because it doesn't like conform to your body. It just kind of is like a flat area. That's not really an issue while you're wearing it in most places. Like if you have it on your front, it's going to sit on your front. On your back, it's going to sit on your back. But if you do want to kind of wear it on your side, it's not really going to conform to your body so much. But overall, I think it's a great back panel and it's very comfortable. As far as the strap goes, we know we don't have any padding or aeration or anything like that. It's just a, a strap and that's fine for me because this isn't a huge sling. You know, it's not, it's not going to weigh a bunch. If you do wear like a thin t-shirt or a tank top or something like that, this might dig in just a little bit, but overall pretty happy with it. You know, we've reviewed a lot of, tested and reviewed a lot of slings and crossbodies here and just comfortable and we got this strap keeper to keep it organized too. So I've got it on now on my front. This is how I typically like to wear it because I have quick access to all of my gear. And as you can see, it fits my frame pretty well, but if you have a smaller frame, it might be just a little bit big depending on obviously, as I said, your frame size, pretty easy to transition to wearing it on your back. Sorry if I hit the mic there a little bit. I found this to be pretty comfortable as well. Uh, I actually took this on a couple bike rides and found it, you know, it stayed put pretty well. I think that maybe is down to the back panel and what it's made of and how structured it is, but overall very easy to transition between the two. If you're wearing it on your back, you can loop it over real quick, get something out and then put it back on your back. But as I said, depending on where you're wearing it, like right now, I don't know how well you can see this, but it's the back panel is so rigid that I wouldn't often wear it like this, but maybe you would. And it just kind of, 
it doesn't conform to your body as I mentioned earlier, but overall very happy with the comfort of this thing. I like to wear it a bit tighter and this strap isn't really digging in in an uncomfortable way. So as I said, very happy with the comfort offered here. So I've got just one secondary compartment to talk about and it's pretty basic, but I actually like its inclusion a lot. So we're seeing more and more spaces for tablets inside of slings. And although this won't fit a large tablet, this is a large flat pocket, which is perfect for like a Kindle, or if you've got a smaller tablet, a mini tablet, it'll fit in here nicely. So as you saw that this Kindle fits inside here with quite a bit of room to spare on you know the sides and up top, there's no organization inside of here, just a big open space. So I should say that the liner isn't super thick. So things you put inside this main compartment are going to push up on um, this back pocket. So, I mean, in theory, if you put like a bunch of rocks in here or something and you have your tablet screen facing this way, something could happen. I don't think it will, but just worth noting. So this back panel protects the back side here. So I think I actually had it in there the wrong way. I'm, I'm not, I always want to put it this way, but if you put it this way, you're actually gonna get a little bit more protection because you have this rigid padding from the back panel, which we mentioned earlier, against the face of the uh, tablet or Kindle or whatever it is. So, I mean, as long as you just put normal stuff in here, it's not really a problem, but I thought that was worth mentioning. So moving in to the main compartment now, as you can see, the zipper goes a long way around this um, sling. So when you open it up, you can kind of like, it kind of sits nicely. So you like, if you're going to like the coffee shop or something, you can set this on your desk, pop this open and then like fold this down to have access to your gear. It almost acts like a little mini tech pouch if I show you this way because um, you can't really see it so well from the top down. But now getting into the gear, I've got stowed in here in the organization. On this front um, flap here, we have a nice zippered compartment that takes up pretty much the whole front face. So there's quite a bit of space to work with there. I've got all my charging stuff. So if I'm you know going out for a day and I don't know what I'm gonna need to charge, I have all my charging cables. And I typically carry this with a camera backpack. So sometimes I'll put cables and stuff like that I'll need for my camera inside that pocket. And then it's just all there. All my charging stuff is in one place. I don't have to worry about going from one place to another when I need charging stuff. So as you can see, no organization inside there or anything like that, but nice to have a zippered compartment to lock things down. And that is the only zippered area in um, the inside of this sling. So I just have my phone stuck in the middle there so I have quick access to it. I also could have put that if I didn't have the Kindle in this back compartment here, but there is a ton of leftover space if I do that. So just keep that in mind, I suppose. You could also you know, put your you know, phone, wallet, and maybe your passport back here, but um, I typically like to keep things in the front where I kind of have quick access to them if I need them, but maybe your passport would make sense back there. On this back wall here, we have these two mesh pockets, a little bit of elastic on the top, not super stretchy or snappy, but it does kind of hold onto items. So I've just got my wallet, the Chum Surf Shorts stuck in that one there. And then I have a point and shoot film camera stuff in the other one. So this one's quite, this is quite a bit bigger than the wallet was. So it kind of gets held onto nicely there. And then we, as you can see here, we have a key ring right here. So this is a nice length key ring for me. It's not too long. So if it was longer, you'd obviously be able to use it for more things like opening more like doors with locks that are further away. But because it's not that long, I'm happy with the length because it's not getting in the way inside the sling. Um, you could also put your keys on here and then stick them inside this pocket so they're kind of out of the way. And I also have been using it so I you know, carry a point and shoot with me a lot of the times and I attach my point and shoot strap to it. So that way if I pull this out and take a picture and I accidentally drop it, it gets caught. Just a, a, something that I like to do and I don't typically put my key on key rings anyway. So that has been very handy for me. I'm gonna pop that off really quickly or not as quickly as I had planned to show you the strap, the Wujin. Um, clip there to put your keys on. Very durable. Wujin is a great brand overall. So pretty happy with the interior of this thing. It's very simple, but it's like, it doesn't get in your way, which I, or I guess that's a kind of an inherent thing of it being simple. It doesn't stop you from stowing gear, I guess is what I should have said. So, you know, there's just these two pockets, a zippered compartment, and then the key leash, and then a bunch of open space. But for me, that's just enough to lock down the gear I don't want floating around and then I can shove whatever else I wanna put inside of here, inside of here. You, know, you could probably fit a packable rain jacket in here if you wanted to, uh, battery bank, whatever you need to stow in here, you can probably fit it in here. And as I said, it just doesn't get in your way. It's very simple and I like that. So there you have it, the Tortuga Travel Sling. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.